morning forecast. I know fog's a big issue. I like your little uh, Jeep that you got going on back there yeah, with the high beams. Previous owner of one of these off-road machines. I miss mine, don't worry. We've been out there too doing it, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but talking fog this morning, it's why you don't want to be using your high beam lights in fog, and it has to do with the reduction of vision. So when it's foggy, you've got the high beams on, the fog is basically tiny water droplets that act as mirrors. So when you hit your light on them, the water droplet then reflects it back to you. So the more light you put out, the more light you get back, and that's what makes the vision worse than it would be with just your regular headlights on. Also, high beams make it worse for everybody around you when you have them on. So, uh, you know, use the low beam lights with the foggy conditions this morning. This is on I-37 from our photographer Dave, and you can see you see the glow with the lights when the high beams are on that glow gets a lot worse and that's what we're talking about with the visibility uh, getting worse with high beam lights on. And that's why we say you got to turn off the radio, crack the windows and just you got to listen. And people are like, oh, listen for what? Trust me, having covered these stories, the one yeah. thing people always describe is the loud crinkling of metal. Um, when there's a multiple uh, pileup that they're and sometimes you can't see it when into. it's fit foggy like that. Yeah, yeah, Alan, thank you. We appreciate it. Sir.